Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing good, how are you? Good, good. Did you drink water? Sure. Thanks so much. How are you feeling? Feeling good. You feeling okay? My name's Rob Thomas. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? You doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, you probably have better days than this, I guess, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am a little shaken, to be honest. You're a little shaken? No, like, it's not my usual day, obviously. Yeah, yeah, no, I can appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alec. Do you mind if I call you Alec? Yeah, sure. Is it, what do your friends normally call you? Alec. Alec. Yeah. Uh, Alec, my name's Rob Thomas. I'll, I want you to call me Rob from here on in, okay? Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Alec, uh, I want you to understand something. I'm a senior detective with the Toronto Police. Do you understand what that means? Uh, yes. You know I'm a police officer? Yes. Okay. I don't wear a, a, a uniform. Uh, I wear a, a, a suit and tie because of the type of work I, that I do. But although I'm in a, a suit and tie, I'm, I'm an actual police officer, okay? Um, and I'm the one of the senior investigators on this case, okay? I got called in for this, this, this specific case because of what's happened and the involvement and everything else that's been going on, okay? Uh, before we get started, I want you to know that we're being videotaped and audio taped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Do you know what I mean by that? Yes. Everything I see and do is being captured. Exactly. Yeah. On on audio and video. Okay. Now, uh, here's what I want to do, uh, Alec. Um, I want to talk to you. Okay. Um, we're going to spend a, 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 a good deal of time together. Okay. okay. Um, it's important that I talk to you. All right. Um, I, I've done a little bit of um, uh, reading, and I know a little bit about um, involuntary uh, celibacy. Ce ce celibacy, right? So being celibate, involuntarily yes. celibate. What does that mean? That means, an celibacy means uh, uh, someone who never perform has a sexual intercourse. Right. Uh, involuntary celibacy means this wasn't your choice. You I see. essentially are uh, have been thrown into true forced loneliness and you're unable to lose your virginity. Right. This is especially uh, painful for uh, young males. Right, right, right. That makes sense. When did you first, sorry, you mentioned this and I forgot. When did you first go on to 4chan? 2014. 2014. And specifically when? In 2014. May 23, uh, 2014. Uh, how were you able to remember that? Because I remember that was a uh, very significant day. Okay. What, what day was? What was that? Uh, that was when uh, Elliot Roger uh, decided to essentially uh, commit an uprising, a beta uprising, if you will, right. against the uh, Chads and the Stacys. It was a beta uprising. A beta uprising. Okay. Although he didn't uh, call it a beta uprising at the time. Uh, someone else who was inspired by him, by the name of. Uh, Chris Harper called it a beta uprising sometime in, uh, actually, I believe it was October 1, uh, 2015. Uh, it was uh, Elliot Roger who was the the father. Uh, Basically, the, the, the founding forefather the founding uh, of the, forefather. the entire movement. Right, right. So explain to me this movement. What's this movement about? It's basically. It's basically a movement of angry uh, incels, such as myself, who are unable to get laid. Therefore, we want to overthrow the uh, chads mm -hmm. which would uh, force the stacys to be forced to uh, reproduce with the incels right right okay when you say incels involuntary uh, celib celibate celibate so that's just a, a, sh a short for form for 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 fellas who can't uh, get laid can't can't have sex right <laughs> okay and uh what happened in the uh elliot rogers uh, uh, uh uprising what did he do I know he uh, used a uh, gun as well as a, a vehicle to um, convert the life status of certain individuals to a uh, death status. Right. Um, o only to uh, carry the message that um, incels uh, can't be oppressed. And um, and then uh, what about um, Chris uh, Harper Mercer? What uh, what did he do? He used a gun for uh, all of his murders. And were these fellas active on 4chan? Yes. They were. Have you ever communicated with these fellas? Uh, I actually have, as a matter of fact. Who, who did you communicate with? Both of them, actually. Really? We discussed our uh, frustrations at um, society and being unable to get laid. And we were plotting a certain uh, 
timed strikes mm -hmm. on society in order to um, confuse and uh, shake the foundations just to put all the uh, normies in a uh, state of panic. Okay, and who would be a normie? Uh, normie means uh, normal people. That would be anyone who is uh, considered to be uh, normal by uh, the unfair standards of society. But not the Chads or Stacys. Chads, is Chads and Stacys are actually mm, above normies, or at least they think they're above normies. Of course, normies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So is it fair to say you've got Chads and Stacys up here, normies down here, and then you've got celebs who believe that they are being Incels. repressed? Incels. Incels, sorry. Yes. Incels who believe they're being re 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 uh, uh, suppressed or repressed. Yes. And, and so as a result, even the playing field. Yes. The, you know, they, they, uh, they convert the Stacys and Chads from living to dead. And, and to so make that we come out on, us to, on top. But yeah, it's more than, so is there, are, 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 so the, the targets, who would the targets for the, this uprising be? All of the uh, alpha males. All the alpha males, so the Chads. Yes. So that's, those are the people you, that, that, that you want to kill? Yes. Okay. All right. And who else? Any uh, uh any of the Stacys who uh, do not wish to uh, give their love and affection to the incels. So they they you, they're a target as well. Yes. To be killed. Yes. Okay. And what about the normies? No, uh, yeah, norm normies. Yes, we uh, do. We do. We don't necessarily wish to uh, kill the normies, but we do wish to uh, subjugate them uh, in order to make them understand that the. Um, that our type is uh, the more superior one. Right, right. So when you say subjugate, what do you mean by that? Mean, meaning uh, either imprison them or put them in a lower position in society. Okay. All so right. that they acknowledge um, the incels or the uh, Pepe the Frog types as the more superior ones. So, okay, so you... You're saying things that I'm, I'm not familiar with. So, sorry. So Pepe the, Pepe the uh, but we, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a mascot on 4chan. We, uh, he's a mascot? Yes. Oh, a mascot on 4chan. Yes. And he's I, I, was, I was using a metaphor. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, he's actually uh, worshipped uh, quite frequently. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So going back to the conversation with, with Chris and, um, and uh, Elliot, did you ha who did you have conversation with first? Let me ask you that. Elliot. Elliot. So how did you learn of Elliot? Because on um, on the we uh, private messaged each other on uh, Reddit yep. after I saw one of uh, his posts mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we just uh, talked about each other and got to know each other and we found each other very interesting. We both had the same uh, frustrations at society right. despite being uh, separated by distance uh, so far apart. Right, right, right. Did you ever visit him? I uh, know, but I wish I could have. Yeah, yeah. Did he ever come up and visit you? No, but I wish he did. Yeah, yeah. When specifically did your first contact or have co contact with Elliot? January of 2014. 2014. And uh, when did you stop having co uh, communication with him? Uh, as soon as he was deceased. Okay. So uh, his act, I, I know, took place in 2014, but I, I wasn't aware of the exact day. What day was it? May 23, uh, 2014. May 23rd. Yeah, you said that. Uh, so when did you last speak to him? May uh, 20. May 20th. And so what did he tell you? He told me that uh, he has to go. He must. He is on a very important mission, mm -hmm. and uh, he might not make it back alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what did you say to him? I uh, kind of had an idea in my head of what he was uh, planning, but I didn't want to uh, think it was true at the time, so I said, so I replied and said, uh, I wish you uh, good luck with that. Right on. Okay. Okay. And uh, yes. and uh, when did you learn that uh, what he had done? I saw it on the news later that night. Later on the, on the 23rd? Yes. Okay. And what did you think? Uh, I thought that I came to the understanding that this is the mission that he had to uh, carry out. Okay. All right. And anything else? I felt kind of uh, proud of him for uh, his uh, acts of bravery. Okay. All right. And what about uh, how you started to, 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 to change your thinking? What was was any of that was was that was any of that going on? I was starting to feel uh, radicalized at that time. You were. Okay. And when you say radicalized, what do you mean by that? 
meaning I felt it was time to take action and not just sit on the sidelines and to just uh, fester in my own sadness. Right on. Okay. All right. So what takes place next as part of this, this, this growing radicalization? To be honest, uh, the planning didn't occur until about a month ago. Most of it was actually just thinking okay. and daydreaming. Okay. All right. So the thinking and daydreaming, when did that start? That started about a month after the rebellion in uh, May of 2014. Okay, so... So, I mean, so, so in June, I started uh, thinking about this stuff. And then that continued right up till about a month ago? Yes, which is when I uh, booked uh, the uh, van with the rider okay. in order to uh, use as a tool for rebellion. Okay, all right. So, t t t take me through that process. What was going through your mind and how was, you know, what were you thinking when you were doing all of this? What was going on? I was thinking that it was a time that I uh, stood up to the Chads and Stacys. Okay. And then, and, and then, so what happened? So this, tell me what takes place. So I uh, booked the van. Yeah. And then I just simply wait until uh, today. Yeah. And then I go rent the van and then I uh, drive it, take it downtown to Toronto. Okay. And I just start using it as a weapon. Okay, all right. And and so when you say that, wh what do you mean by that? Meaning I it, the vehicle collided with uh, several pedestrians, some of who are no longer alive as a result. Right, right, okay, okay. Uh, okay, and uh, so yeah, that, that's a lot of information. Take me back to uh, a month ago. You said this is when this whole planning started? Yes. Okay. So. About a month ago, where were you at that point? I was at Seneca College, and I decided to uh, phone Ryder and uh, book a, either a truck or a van with them. And they had a 10-foot a, a van uh, available, mm -hmm. so I figured that this is perfect. Mm -hmm. I can not, it's uh, big enough to have an effect, but not too big that I can't maneuver with it. Uh, so van was the perfect uh, medium size to use as my uh, weapon. Okay, so when do you leave Ryder? I wasn't looking at the time when I left, but I know I received the, the van before 1 p.m., although it was, uh, the booking was actually scheduled for 1. Okay, all right. And how long does it take you to get from Ryder to Young Street? I would, to Young? Uh, to the beginning of Young? To, to, the, beginning of, to uh, the beginning of the attack. Oh, to the near Young and Fitch. Yeah. I would estimate about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. Now, what are you thinking while you're in the van? Uh, I'm thinking that this is it. This is the day of retribution. Okay. And uh, anything else in your mind? Just that. That's, okay. the, that's the only thing that's in my mind. It's just burning in my mind. Burning in your mind. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so let me ask you this, because this is really interesting. Why do you choose Young and Finch? I, w I didn't choose Young and Finch in particular. I was driving down Young because I knew it would be a busy area. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I saw there were uh, pedestrians, mm -hmm. I just decided to uh, go for it. Okay. And so where specifically were you in terms of your specific location? Where were you when you just decided to go for it? I was... Uh, at some traffic lights. Okay, where? Um, much I don't remember. The only reason, in fact, uh, if, it, if I hadn't, uh, I remember some other, uh, I, I had heard some other officer m or mentioned Young and Finch before. That's the only reason I really remember it. Okay. But otherwise, I actually wouldn't have remembered you that it's remember. yeah, Young and Finch. I just knew that I started seeing a lot of people walking. Okay. Uh, it, it might, it might, to stand, Am I correct when I when I say that you knew at least you were on Young Street? Yes. And you knew that you were. Because I specifically chose it beforehand. Because that's that's why. Because I even looked for that ramp from Highway Seven to Young. Right. Okay. Okay. So, nevertheless, you're at a, you're at a you're at a stoplight. You said. Yes. You're at and now are you faced with a red light? You're stopped. Uh yes, but as soon as it turned green, I uh, started going. Okay and. To, just walk me through this, okay, step by step. So it turns green, and what are you thinking? 
I'm thinking that uh, this is it. I see all these people. It's uh, time to uh, go for it. Time to go for it. And what do you do? I uh, floor the pedal. Yep. I speed the van towards them, and I uh, allow the van to uh, collide with them. Okay. And then what happens? Uh, some people get knocked out of the way. Some people roll o over the top of the van. Okay. And then what, what happens? I uh, continue doing that until, um, I, in fact, actually, to be honest, the only reason I stopped my attack was because someone's drink got splashed on my uh, windshield, and I was worried that I would uh, crash the van anyway, so I decided, okay, now I, I wanted to do more, but I've kind of been foiled by a lack of visibility, so then that's when I uh, pulled, I uh, turned right, and I pulled, and I saw the cops approaching, so I decided to pull over and get out of my van. Okay. How long do you travel from the moment that you you decide this is it, the light turns green, and you uh, mount the sidewalk, is that right? Yes. To the time that you stop. How long in terms of the distance would that have been? About two, traffic, two or three traffic lights. Two or three traffic lights. Okay. So you turn right at what street? I don't remember which street. I wasn't paying attention. Why do you turn right? Um, because I because there wasn't any convenient place to stop at Young, and I and like I said that there was a lack of visibility on my windshield. I could hear the cops coming anyway, so the the when I turned right, there was a convenient place to pull over on the sidewalk. Okay. Okay, and so you're now, so you're, 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 you, you physically stop your vehicle. Yes. You physically stop. So you end the assault. Yes. Okay. Um, and you end it because you can't see. Yes. And you knew the cops were coming. Yes. Okay. And so then what happens at that point? Uh, I, I see a patrol car pull over and I hear the cops screaming at me to get out. So I get out and I, uh, point my wallet at the cop in it with the intent for it to be confused at the gun so that I could be fatally shot. Okay. And was that something you were thinking about? Yes. I, know, I mean, I, I, what I'm saying even, is... Even beforehand, I uh, premediated as an attempted uh, suicide by cop. You wanted, to, you wanted to be killed by the police? Yes. Okay. Um, can I ask why you decided to, to, to equip yourself with a wallet and not something else? Uh, I was worried, I was thinking about purchasing a toy gun, right. but I was kind of paranoid that some, for whatever reason, the Rydal rental company would ask to see my pockets or any bag if I chose to bring that, so I decided to go as stealthy as possible so no one suspects anything. Okay, all right. Nevertheless, you get out of the, the van, the officer, or his board, or, sorry, uh, it, correct me if I'm wrong, because I want to make sure I get this right. You get out of the van because the officer orders you out? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you want to uh, you want to die by, uh, by, by suicide by police, uh, so you point your wallet at him? Yes. Okay, and, and uh, do you say anything to the officer? Uh, I actually told him that I had a gun in my pocket, which was untrue. Right. Uh, then I had to, I, twice I stuck my left hand in my uh, pocket and attempted to do this just to uh, provoke a uh, reaction. Okay. Uh, that uh, he unfortunately he didn't react. Right. So then I ended up being ordered to the ground. So I knew at that point he's not going to shoot me. So uh, I've lost. So I just, so I had no choice but to just and get on the ground. Okay. I'm going to ask you this, because uh, it's important. Um, Ten people died here today. Um, Fifteen people were seriously injured. Um, I think it's important to ask how you feel about that. I feel like uh, I accomplished my mission. You feel like you accomplished your mission? Yes. If the families of those people who were murdered and who were injured were in this room right now, what would you say to them? I honestly don't know what I would say. Would you apologize? 
I honestly don't know.